number of regular workers falls for first time in three years in 2024. The number of regular workers in South Korea fell for the first time in three years in 2024, and the salary gap between regular and the non-regular employees reached an all-time high, data showed Tuesday. The number of regular workers came to 13 million as of August, down by 147,000 from a year earlier, according to the data by Statistics Korea. It, ma it marked the first fall since 2021, when the figure went down by 94,000. The numbers of non-regular workers including part-time workers, dozen temporary contracts, and outsourced laborers rose by 337,000 on year to 8.4 million as of August. The, propor the proportion of non-regular workers out of the country's 22 million salaried workers, accordingly, rose by 1.2 percentage points from the previous year to 38 percent, the second highest level since the agency began compiling the relevant data in 2003. The highest proportion was 38 percent reported in August 2021. The manufacturing, construction, and the wholesale and the retail sectors shared regular position in line with the decline in their total number of workers. The dining and accommodations industry and the healthcare and the social welfare field significantly added irregular workers, according to the data. By age, those in their 60s and older accounted for the largest share of 33% of the total irregular workers, followed by people in their 50s and 19%, and those in their 20s and teenagers combined with 19%. The number of irregular workers rose by the most on year among people in their 60s and older among all age groups, followed by those in their 30s and 50s.